Hi everyone, today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Minyard and comes in 135 scale which is quite standard for this brand. We have here a G518 US one ton cargo trailer and this time we get a version with the canvas so called Ben Hur and in 135 scale it might be handy both as a solo subject or maybe as a part of some diorama idea and of course we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as which you'll see in this video review so that's the final shape of this kit and if you order it for example from Madelimax you will get exactly the same thing. So first of all the kit number is 35443 it's written there here we also have the mention that P parts are included and also we have decals for several markings and the box size is standard here you can see comparison with my hand on the side we will find some safety information and also address of the manufacturer while on the opposite side you can see all of the markings which are included and this is quite a choice even though I mean some of the versions don't have any decals and we can also replicate one open okay this is a top opening box and here is what we have inside as you can see all frames are sealed into one plastic bag so I'm going to cut through it and we will take a closer look together in the meantime I can also remind you that we reviewed the open version as well so it was kit number 35436 and you can find the video review on our YouTube channel so it was also quite handy set but of course some others might need the closed version so that's what we are checking today okay you can hear i'm opening the plastic bag so here is the small envelope with the p fret and as you can see inside we have it and also there is a small chain which might be handy for the attachment mechanism on this uh, trailer so if i zoom in here is what we have inside here is the metal chain and unpainted P parts look really nice so it's just a matter of installing them onto your model and I think I mean here you can see comparison with my hand so these are really tiny parts and that's why you have to be careful while installing them onto your trailer maybe some tweezers will be needed but I think the final result should be worth it decals are packed into the separate plastic bag so I'm going to open it as well and inside we get all of the necessary symbols for this marking options which you saw on the side of the box. Printing quality looks great and from my recent experience with the new decals from Cartography in Miniart kits, they are really nice and I didn't have any issues in application, it's just a matter of careful application on the model. Next we start with the grey plastic spruce, so the first one is a BK and here we have some parts of the main chassis, we also have some of the road wheels, maybe I'll do a bit of the zoom out so now you can see all the parts molding quality looks fine I don't have any complaints here and the separation should be easy as well because we have quite thin attachment points so it's not a difficult task to do next we continue with the spruce CH here we have the large uh, wooden sides which will be necessary for the open version as you remember even though we have a one marking option included here nobody stops you from checking some references and copying it but then again I think it's a bit of weird choice in the kit which is more focused on the closed version because the closed version can be replicated only here the open version can be replicated in previous boxing as well next we continue with two identical plastic spruce so one can guess that these are dedicated to the wheels and that's really cool that we get the plastic wheels here it means that they will be nicely detailed and just to prove this point here is the closer look at the tire details on this wheel as you can see we have some pre-molded tire details and this is really great and if I flip it over here we have also the uh, let's say picture of the separately molded tire wall but this is the inner side as far as I remember and this is the outer side so probably you will need also the masks in order to get the nice paintwork but I think it's not a difficult task just to cut out the circle and to paint the part or maybe just to hand brush the uh, wheel rim and uh, call it done next we continue with more of these raised wooden walls again they are needed for the open version and by the way there are no yeah there is no texture on the wooden parts 
So here you can take a closer look, so they are just plain parts and well if you would like to have some wooden texture on them you have to replicate it by yourself with the paint or maybe with some uh, let's say tools like uh, using the liquid glue and then uh, slightly scratching it. I saw some others and actually I myself tried this method and it works nicely. What might be also a bit challenging is to assemble this tarp in a convincing way because it's usually one piece tarp over this uh, special frame. So here as you can see it is separated into uh, five separate panels. We have quite nice uh, texture details, so this is definitely a huge plus for this or advantage for this kit. But again, these are separate panels which should be joined together. And if I flip it over here, you can see that we have some guiding elements which should help you with overall alignment, but that's pretty much all. So check how the fitment will be first before gluing the parts in place, do some dry fitment and then maybe decide whether you would like to continue the assembly. But overall I really like how this is replicated here and uh, the uh, these wrinkles they are not repeating on the parts so they look unique and this should add to a bit to the convincing appearance of the kit. And if we are talking about the main chassis, so here are the last parts on the biggest plastic sprue. So here, as you can see, the side walls are molded together with the leaf springs. We also have the wheel fenders, we have the four panel. These are the bars for the main chassis. And if I flip it over, here in the wheel fenders we have some of the push marks but they will not be visible, especially if you just sand them a bit. So it's not a difficult thing to resolve. And next we have the assembly manual, so this one is quite simple here, it's printed in terms of the you know, white or color printed brochure I would say. As you can see it's not large, here is comparison with my hand, we have some features listed on the cover. And then we continue with the parts map here, so as usual Minyard does not show which parts are unused. And assembly process starts with the sidewalls, the leaf springs. Next we continue with the choice between the open or closed version as you can see, also we assemble the road wheels. Next we also use here some parts of the PE parts, but I am just checking how this... So we can also install the metal wire. Metal wire obviously is not supplied here, but it will be repl replicating the brake lines. So I would definitely recommend to have this in place. Next we continue with the chain for the locks for the rear section, and then we have also this supporting wheel, which can be uh, depicted in the parked or transport position. Okay. And next here, we have the uh, two versions of this open or closed version, as you can see. Again, some P parts are used for the closed version. Here we have three marking options for this, and they are coming from 1943 and 1944. And next we continue with the markings from 1944 to 1950 and 1953. It's already from Korean War. So overall this kit looks like a handy addition in 135 scale and it should be already available as I said. So if you would like to get it for your collection definitely buy it in Modelimex. And of course I will be happy to hear your opinion so do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.